Die, everybody, die. Hello, everybody. Welcome to Single Player World. Um, I've come down here. I'm trying to figure out, because I've got... If you look at my entity, i got like 600 entities in somewhere around here. And i got to say, yeah, frame rate's pretty low. I'm hoping the new snapshots might improve it. We'll see. There seems to be some uh, performance improvement. But I think this world is just awful. So maybe when you guys get the download, you can figure out what's lagging in my world. I just don't understand. What could possibly be lagging in my world? What could possibly be lagging me right now? That's sarcasm. Clearly these item elevators are killing me. I should really design this not to use item elevators. Um, but I didn't. I don't remember the reason why. But anyway, I came down here to see if maybe this thing was broken and there's a bunch of mob drops sitting on the ground. Also, I wanted to check how we're doing. Did I empty this recently? Maybe. Oh, some fences in there. Um, does that mean my gunpowder is getting burned? Yes. <laughs> yes, that's exactly what it means. Uh, hey. Let's not have that happen. Why did that happen? Uh, excuse me. I'm trying to... Trying to do something here. Okay, that one's set up for bones. I don't know if that's supposed to be set up for bones. How about you? You're broken too. Oh, they all broke. Oh, that's just fantastic. Okay. That's awesome. I'm so happy. <laughs> okay, well, I'm pretty sure fence gates weren't falling down the mob trap, so I'm not sure what happened there. Okay, that one's going to stay at four. Um, okay, you can be zombie flesh. And I need to get some filler items going. Alright, let me fix this. Who knows how long I've been losing things for. So why don't we put... Maybe it just lagged and it managed to pull two items out. So what I'm probably going to do is add a second item there to the front. And maybe that will make a difference. Who knows. Anyway, I will bring you back when I'm up top. Okay, I just got rid of the filler items altogether. They weren't really needed, especially with dealing with something you have tons of. You might as well just fill it all up. Okay, that'll do. Let's try to get back up top. I have a whole bunch of crap on me. I don't know what I was doing. <laughs> what was I working on last episode? I thought we did the little house. Oh, maybe that's all it was, was the house. The little horse house. Not for the horses, mind you. Ooh, that's a bad throw. That was not so good either. That was my last pearl. Okay, good. We made it somewhere where we can get out of here. I don't suppose I have any in there. Nope. I do not. Alright, today I'm updated to 1.6.4. There are new snapshots out, and I do plan... Uh, snapshots? Snapshots? I do plan on updating them. Anyway, anyway. I'll try to do little quick tours. This is my old underground... Well, it's still current, I guess. This is my old farm, which I don't use anymore. When it's running, these lamps are on, and it's like of Ethiopian design. <laughs> Not Ethiopian. Etho. Ethonian. <laughs> uh, Ethonian design. Um, with some modifications done by me. Um, there's uh, my cactus farm, which is currently off. Not cactus. Sugarcane farm, which is currently off. It's all bud-operated. Each one has its own bud, so they just get harvested as they grow. And I'll probably turn that guy on again once I start getting once I get a villager that takes paper and then we can start getting more emeralds but don't really need them at the moment um, I like to do little hidden doors so I try to do them everywhere I can this one just goes over to my storage area and again I'm getting some pretty poor framage alright there's so in preparation for the new snapshots let's see if I can talk in some kind of coherent manner in preparation for the new snapshots, there are terrain changes, and I'm sure a lot of you have already known, or already aware, and seen, talked, heard other people talk about it, and I've talked about it on Olympus as well. Um, 1.7, because it's doing terrain changes, and the way they've handled structures in the past, make it so like witch farms and that, nether fortresses, upon generation change, uh, the game kind of forgets what they are, so your witch hut is no longer a witch hut. 
and all that because it's all it used to be saved in the seed or it wasn't and now it's saved in the chunk I think in the f chunk files or whatever you guys probably know better than I do so what that means is had you updated from just 1.6.2 up to the new snapshots for 1.7 any witch hut that you generate or if you've already generated a witch hut likelihood is it's not going to work anymore unless it just coincides that there is a witch hut in the new generation code as well in the exact same spot and that's just not going to happen realistically realistically not going to happen bing 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 so today we're going to do a few things in preparation for that we're, we've been playing around with trying to get like an overviewer map for olympus so i did a, a render using a program called like the overseer which basically just looks at your save file and generates a whole bunch of files for you to view it kind of does it in like a google maps layout it's pretty cool um, I'll probably throw a screenshot up of that because what we're going to do is as I've been just emptying it, we are going to go because it shows the benefit of this over like programs like Mist. Mist is great because it shows uh, the generation sort of it shows like the biome layout which is very useful it'll show you where structures are as well strongholds almost nighttime yeah strongholds and witch huts and um, temples and all that stuff it'll show um, but it doesn't show it's not it doesn't reflect anything in your actual world all it does is like it takes a seed and figures out what the layout is it doesn't look at your world so like building anything in your world doesn't show up in admits or anything like that it doesn't show what you've explored um, so the overseer what it does is it basically just generates anything that you've generated it'll create a map of and any areas you have yet to explore it won't gen it won't render so you can use that as kind of a tool. So I have this map in front of me and I can look at it and I can tell which areas I've already explored and which areas I have not. And to the north of here is a fairly large plains biome and I have not actually fully explored this biome by the looks of it. So there is actually three large areas that are relatively unexplored and they're not that far away. They're just north of here. So we are going to hop on a horse and go see if there are actual horses there. We'll take ash and I just want to get some leads in case there are. Maybe we'll take some food. Should probably take some sugar. I don't need name tags. What am I doing? I do want leads. Okay, there's leads. Take 31 horses back with us. Okay, a couple saddles. Carrots? I don't know. They take carrots? How about sugar? Sugar is a good one, right? I'm sure we have sugar. Yeah. We have more sugar cane elsewhere. And you just saw the farm. So, not a big deal. I do plan on still doing the tour. I'm just trying to get to level, or episode um, 150, is it? You know, my Olympus server is catching up in terms of episodes. I'm almost at episode 100 on that one. Crazy. Crazy. But anyway, yeah, let's take the horse and head on out. And I don't think I've done anything over here since the last episode. I think I probably logged out. I think this is going to be actually the extent of our pathway system. Now if I were to do paths, it would head out through the plains because there's a bunch of villages through here so I figured we'd maybe connect them up. I don't know if we will. We might do a little bit but I think all I'm going to do is kind of do this kind of thing in a larger scale and just kind of have it peter out into nothing so eventually it'll just be like you're nowhere. Okay, in our previous episode, we tried seeing if he was in a spawn chunk. Eh, he's still tied up. Yoink. All right, Ash. I guess I could have brought a name tag and named him. I don't even know if you're any good. Are you garbage? So we're, we're just going to head to the north and see if we can find this new area. Oh, there's also cool things with maps, so when I do update, which might be later this episode, we might jump into one if I can get everything explored. Now, I don't have any witch huts, really, that I'm using. Uh, there are some that I've generated. I think I've only found, like, one or two. Wow, we're getting some really bad generation. Let me turn off... I think it's advanced OpenGL, but... It can make things run better, but... Um, it does have some rendering issues 
let's let's keep that off while we're exploring. Now things are rendering way back there, so that's better. Ooh, look at that. Um, so let me bring up that map. Actually, we can look at it together. If I can, I can't record it, but I can throw it in during editing. Okay, so here we are. It shows where the village is, uh, which happens to be right at spawn. And if we just head to the north, it'll also show the coordinates, wherever your mouse cursor is. But there's two spots right here that we can see. So they are at 600 and negative 1,000, basically. So we want to go 1,000 and 700. Just trying to see which coordinates, which way. So 700 and 1,000 is the beginning of that area. Okay. So let's bring up our coordinates. Whoa! Don't fall into the ravine! <laughs> okay. Woo! Negative 1,100. Okay, so we got to go about 900 blocks this way. And a little ways this way. It looks like a bit to the east and then north. And that should take us... Okay, yeah, it's around... It's on the other side of this this forest here, which isn't too big. Although, well, it's not too big, and my world is large biomes, because that was the one of the new things when I started this world, was the new addition of large biomes to the generator. So I went with it, and it makes, would you guess, large biomes? Okay. Oh, wow. Look at this. Wait for it. Oh, it's just awful. Could have got my shovel out, I suppose. That probably would have been better. Okay. But yeah. These biomes are large. Like that jungle biome to the southeast of my village. Oh, here's a village. It had like 20-something temples in it or something stupid like that. It had a lot of temples in it. Now, I do, I've explored this area. So this village. Actually, if we pause, I'll bring up the map and show you where we are. At least I think this is where we are. Looks like it. Okay, there it is. So you can see the village. And you can see the lake-ish thing and the forest over there. Pretty cool. Let's keep heading north. i got to remember to actually take these shots. I guess when I'm in editing, I'll have to go back. Take the screenshots that I'm talking about right now. Because I'm not doing them live. Because that would involve having to stop. We don't want to do that. So yeah, I will probably go explore. I'll take a quick look around to see if there's any witch huts that I want to save. I don't know if I'll be doing anything with a witch hut. But maybe we will. Some down, sometime. I just don't like them because they're primarily AFK. Unless you do what I did in my on Olympus there and build at the witch hut. So if you're at the witch hut all the time, then it'll just trickle charge with drops. But here I don't want to do that. Okay, so we are getting there, about another thousand blocks. Looks like we're hitting some water features. I'll just go around it. Uh, let me. Oh yeah, there's some horses. So we have... We are in the new chunks. So that's kind of cool. That's really close. I mean, relatively. A thousand blocks, not too far. Really close to spawn. That's a lot closer to where I was getting them before, if we bring up that map. If I can figure it out where that is, I don't even know. Okay. If we look at... This is the whole area that I've explored in my world. And the plains where I got the horses last time. You can kind of see the trek all the way back. But it's to the far kind of southeast there. That plains that's generated. That happens to be where the wither farm is, or the wither skeleton farm that I built. If you go to the overworld, that's where it takes you. So that's cool. We got some horses. Maybe we will try to bring them back, but let's leave them here for now. And because this area is decently large. Oh god. Oh no, stop it. Don't hurt me. And it looks like it's a lot of lake though. But anyway, let's keep going. There's probably oh yeah, look at all these horses. Look at them all! They're so close. I want to see any more ashes around. I still haven't really done anything with horses. Oh, there's another village. Go figure. Let's see what's there. <laughs> there's so many villages in this plains. This has got to be like village number seven or eight in this one plains. I do get a lot of structures in um, 
large biomes, it seems. Huh. Well, there's a... That's a blacksmith. What are you selling? Oh, coal? Ow. What do you got in your chest? <laughs> Diamond? And a saddle? I will take these things from you. Get my horse back. Okay. Let's head back. Or let's keep... I mean, exploring? I mean, we're not going to find too much exciting here. Just horses. That was the only goal. Find horses. Bring them back. And then uh, maybe update to the snapshot. There's some cows. More cows. I keep taking their horses. A horse is a horse. Well, let's see. How far do I want to go north? Um, it's about a thousand block area. Ooh, there's mobs. Uh, probably just a cave. Probably just a cave. So if we go... Whoops, I got turned around. If we go north... Village. Wah! Sorry, horse. Sorry, at least you heal. I don't. Just like my heart. I'm just kidding. My heart's immune. Heart of coal. Yeah, we got about 500 more blocks of unexplored... Holy... I don't know what that was. Looked like a dark hole. Unexplored plains here. But not too much exciting happening other than... Yeah, those horses we saw initially. And now we're probably to the point... No, no, here we go. It's still generating new ones. Yeah, look at all these horses. A little shorter and stubbier face, but yeah. Pretty good horses right here. Oh, and look at this, another village. <laughs> Number 19. That's right. We just went up like 12. Any other... Anybody we really want? I guess Enchanters. You might get the odd book, like we got the Silk Touch. Is there a blacksmith here? I don't think there is. Or have not seen it yet. No. Nice property, though. A little lake, or swamp, or water hole, whatever you want to call it. Now. Nope. Nothing. Cool. Well, I'm going to maybe continue exploring, although it's almost nighttime now. I did not plan for the night. Which means we're going to die. Very well might. Now that's better be the same village. Look at all these lighting errors. They're fantastic. Okay, a little desert. Yep, okay. I might try to bring some of those horses back. I don't know. It might be difficult during the night. Uh, actually, why don't we just go back to those stubby horses and kill them for their wool. And then I will sleep and make it daytime again. And I'll meet you back at the village. Oh, God. <laughs> Sorry. Oh god. Green monsters everywhere. Okay, wherever's the wherever the stubby sheep. I mean stubby horses, not sheep. They're not sheep, they're horses. Oh there. Is that enough? Nope. Looting, come on. Is that enough? One? Really? Do you always get one when you kill them? Is it impossible to get more than one? I don't even have wood. Oh, let's go to the village. Adventure time! Maybe this will be an uncut video. Unsploring. Unexploring. Ah, right, man. Okay, you have an axe at least. You can do that. I'll just take your house. You don't mind, right? Okay, that's plenty of wood. Okay, can't, apparently can't craft while on a horse. Who knew? Everyone. Except me. There we go. Uh, no. Need that stuff for base. You like? Ooh. Ha. Ah. Ha. Ah. Ha. Ah. Ha. Ah. Ha. Made it. Oh, that guy just running on the roof. Crazy. Crazy man. <laughs> my record button involves hitting the shift button, which kicks me off my horse. All right. It's morning. I went, I was heading actually, actually too far to the west. So we were like just on the edge of the new borders of the new chunks. That's probably why we're finding less and less. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Well, that wasn't as far down as it felt like I fell. It's still pretty f annoying. Uh, how are we going to get you out of here? Oh, this sucks. <laughs> okay. Well, hold on. All right. Yeah, nothing could possibly go wrong here. 
except maybe me breaking my face with every step. All right, Hoss. Let's see you scale this. Ow. It's, it's going to hurt. It's going... Oh, I did bad here. Oh, oh, oh. No, no fault. What did I do wrong? You? 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 Here we go. Oh, that's a bad stare. Oh, God. Oh, stop it, please. Oh, no, don't fall. Okay, none of clearance. No, nope, I didn't do good. I had unrealistic expectations of what this horse could do. Oh, that kind of works. Yeah, I guess since they're too wide, they don't really need... You could put a block every other... Hmm. We made it! We're out of the hole. Okay, we want to kind of head east, and then we're at the tip, roughly... No, I guess it's still about... So it's about 100 blocks. What's the edge here? Yeah, about 1,800. Yeah, that's about the edge of the border. So we want to stay close. So this is one problem with like all these new like versions and all that. You don't know when things are generated. and there's, I don't know if there's a way to tell, really. It would be almost nice if all that was stored, too, in the file itself. So it knew... It knew what version the area you were in was generated in? I don't know. And then maybe it could smooth out edges between old generation and new generation instead of getting those harsh lines. Generation code could look at the generation code of the previous adjacent chunk and blend it. I don't know. I'm just making stuff up. I don't know how any of this works. Don't know if any of that's possible. Probably not. I don't even know where I'm going anymore. So I started talking. As soon as you start talking, brain shuts off. Let's not fall in that crevice. Crevasse. Okay, I'm not finding any horses, though. Let's head south. We are... Okay, we're at a thousand. Let me see. Okay, now we're at the other edge. We probably generated the whole thing. It looks a lot bigger than I think it is. Whoa. Whoa. So, yeah, I don't think it's actually as big of an area as I thought. So we're on the edge. So that's probably why we're not seeing any more horses still. So we probably saw most of them right there at the beginning. So it was like a 500 long by a few hundred wide area, which you should be able to actually load, I think, just by running through it once. So that's kind of what I want to do is get rid of most of these weird black spots that I missed or that I happen to circle around like this so that when I do update, I don't get some weird, like, new biome spawning just in those black spots which is what would happen in any of the unrendered. So there's a few more places that I think I want to go explore. And I think that was it. I mean, those are the only ones that are kind of close to home that I really care about. There's another one to the east of the one I just did. So I'm going to get those two, and then that's about it. Just because they're close. And that'll at least cover this plains that we're in. So the plains will be f mostly full. And then, then I'll be safe to update, and I won't mind if I'm not gonna. I don't plan on exploring in the snapshots, but once I do update, assuming I don't revert back to this, um, I can't. I'm not gonna go explore essentially, and I'll probably try to find a witch hut that I've found. I think is on the other side of the jungle. I think is the closest one I found when I went searching. Because those weren't in the initial generation of this world. So that's another thing. You go to a swamp trying to find a witch farm and you don't know what version the swamp was generated in. Are these sheep or witch? Or horse? Sheep. No. No! And then there's nether fortresses, which I'm not sure I need to explore. But I know like Etho did. And I don't want to contradict Etho, but... Um... I didn't know, are there, maybe you guys know, are, are there terrain changes to the nether being done again? I know there already were, but are there different changes being done in 1.7? Because the importance of 1.6 is to kind of update your structures. But if there's no variance between 1.64 nether generation and 1.7 nether generation, then it doesn't really matter if you go through and update your nether fortresses because the game is going to think they're in the same spot for 1.7 anyway, and then in 1.7, it'll save their location as well, as far as I know. So yeah, you let me know. 
We're still here, guys. Might as well show you the um, before and after. So I think this is the last area. I've explored those three areas you might remember seeing. But anyway, I'm going to do a... I'm going to do a comparison, probably. So I'm going to go ahead and render... I'll redo the overview map now that I've explored the area. And it will update it, and I'll show you the before and the after. And with that, we will say goodbye. But this is some pretty cool cheaty sand here. Run, horse! Run! 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 Oh, it didn't work. <laughs> Who would have thought I wouldn't be able to do that? All right. I'm going to head back to the village. Although I might go visit that silly witch hut. Now, get on my horse. That's a problem when your record key has used a shift. No. Well, I, I had 31 leads, guys, so I figured I'd, I, I'd bring 31 horses. Let me back on my horse. This isn't working very well. Uh, what if I... Aha! I just had to not use leads in my hand. Ew. You got let go. How about you? We also got... Ooh, there's Nash. Uh, uh, come here, Ash. I need you. No, I need you. You're my favorite. You are the best horse around. Oh, yes, going smoothly. Have we lost Ash? Uh, you're speckle something. I don't know what you are. Can we get you? Oh, yeah, you look excited. Yeah. Sorry, this like a, this mob won't let me get near you. Nope, you stay alone. Oh, God. Which way is south? That way is south. Through the water, of course. Wow, well, they're hooked on. Oh, no, I'm going to lose my horse, though. Maybe I should uh, tie up my horse. That's not my horse. It's like, there's my horse. The one with no saddle. It's got to be. Okay. Oh, man, we're so going to die. Can you sleep while holding on to 10,000 horses? Goodbye, horse. Oh, no, that's Ash. Well, that's a Ash. Oh, come back, Ash. We're going to try to sleep. I do need to bring him, though. That is a must. Is a must. There we go. Oh, look at all this mayhem. Okay. Oh, yeah, you can sleep with horses. No problem. Ow, get off my crotch. Oh, that looks really cool. Well, that bed's staying there. Okay. Let's grab you, uh, and you, and you, and you. All right. We've got horses, guys. We've got horses. We've got horses. Faster. Faster. And more that way. No. No. That way, guys. Guys. Oh. This way. Push. This is not going well. How fast can you go with these guys? Oh no! Oh no. Oh, that's okay. Woohoo! Still south? Still south. Lose any horses? Yep, most definitely. Oh. All right, we got the horses back. I'm going to leave them for a second. I was looking on the generator, and there's two witch huts which I do want to go explore, so that's what we're going to do. If we have time, I'm just going to go there, but... Um, oh, I don't think that's going to make it. Nope. Didn't quite throw it far enough. There we go. Because I don't... Because oh, I don't have health regen, I'm going to bring some potions with me. So we're going to bring some of these, maybe three of those, or four. And we'll take some regen. Which ones are these? Regen two. Oops. Ah, we just need the two-minute ones. That should keep us alive. So I'm going to be doing a lot of ender pearling, so I'll probably just use a regen while I'm ender pearling to make sure I don't... Oops, don't die. I missed it. It took too long. Oh, so lag. So lag. 
And the reason I want all those ender pearls and healing potions is because the witch huts are about 3,000 blocks this way. Through the jungle. That's 3,000 blocks of traversing the jungle. There's a swamp partway as well, but for the most part it's just jungle. What is this odd contraption? <laughs> um, I think that was like a camera perch where I was looking at the wall while I was building it and taking shots of it for a montage. <laughs> Oops. Alright, to the witch huts. Wait! Damn, shift key. No. Alright, here's one. Found it. Success. Now there's actually another one about 400 blocks away to the south. So I'm going to head there and generate that one too. And I think those are the only two I've actually found in this world. So if we ever want to do anything with the witch farm, it's is probably where we will come. Whee! Ooh, they fixed this in the latest snapshot. Again. <laughs> they should not break boats ever I think and something about half slabs you can, half slabs won't break a boat you can use it as a dock clearly that's I'm not there yet uh, that duplicating did that duplicate? I don't know hey guys I'm on my way back to the village so I got both witch huts and I don't think I've see, found this one before. If you remember seeing on that f picture, there was a huge area in the jungle. I'm just putting torches on here so I know I visited it. You might have seen that little sped up footage. Uh, the ones on top, ha the ones I passed had torches, so that meant I'd already visited them. But yeah, I don't think I visited this one because this is an area. Oh, look at that. This is an area I have yet to explore. So yeah, I'm just kind of running back through that area that was not generated. No, I want the chisel. Give me my chisel. What don't I need? Lots of things, probably. There we go. And yeah, I was hoping that maybe there'd be a, one of these or not, or two, maybe. Ow, my face. Ow, my face. <laughs> you can tell I don't really care. Oh, wait, I'm, I don't have regen. <laughs> right. And you. And another one? Told you, these things are like everywhere in large biomes. I'm taking some damage. I stubbed my toe. I think I down, down to two potions. So I'm not into prowling through the jungle anymore because, yeah, I used all three regen getting to the witch huts. Yeah, I don't think I've been here either. Doesn't look like it. Let's go identify it for further usage. That's weird. I thought I went through the jungle and got all of them. I even used admits to try to help me locate them all. Clearly I failed. Or I just got... Or I gave up. <laughs> or I just didn't keep track of it very well. There we go. And some more golds. Golds! Ow! Still got me. <laughs> I was hoping it would go past me. Nope. Alright, I wasn't sure if this thing still worked. Looks like it does, though. This thing's pretty cool. I saw it originally on JL server. And I don't remember who actually designed it. But, um, yeah, it pushes the ice and then it pushes it up. Unfortunately, it's not loaded at the moment. 
I might try to mess around with that to make my area even more laggy. <laughs> Maybe we could like force load this area or something so that the ice harvest or will fill. That's another question. Will ice freeze in a partially loaded chunk? I don't know. I'll have to experiment with all that stuff. But yeah, the downside of this is I pretty much would have to wait around AFK here for the for these blocks to be filled up, which I'm never around here, so they never get to. And I can't. I don't like just leaving my game running while I go do something else. All right, guys, we're gonna call it here. Managed to get some horses. I didn't get. I lost quite a few on the travel, and I went back for a second Ash because I lost him somewhere. So I went back and got him and a few more. But we got a a little bit of variety here. And if we need to, the the other ones will still be over there. I'm not sure how many I lost, but I think I had quite a few at at one time. But by the time I got here, I had used up all my leads, and this is what I had. So I definitely lost some leads along the way. All right, so I ended up exploring those two areas, and then I went a little bit further and explored the one by the desert. There is a small little area in the plains that I didn't explore. And I think we're going to leave it as kind of an experiment to see what does generate there. So when we finally get to 1.7, we'll go visit it. I think it's like a two chunk, like two chunk wide by like five chunks long or something like that. I'm not too sure how big it was, but yeah, we'll go visit it and see what ends up generating in that spot once all that stuff's finalized. But yeah, and then I also went down to the two witch huts, which are down that way quite a ways through the desert or the jungle about 3,000 blocks so I went generated or that way and there was some area of a jungle not generated so I kind of um, visited that on the way back um, I don't think that will be reflected in the image though but you might notice a dark spot down there when I show you the overviewer map and that is where I ended up finding those two jungle ruins was in that dark spot that got generated but um, I don't have that updated in the overviewer so and that might take some time so um, I won't get that out to you I don't think but yeah here is the before and after I'll just transition from before to after and then you can see which areas got filled in from our, our exploration today. Excellent, excellent. So that's probably about all I will do for um, exploration, I think. There are other areas, other random little chunks and stuff, but um, it'll be hard to get them all. And there's no way I'm going to go explore like this whole continent or anything, because I'm pretty sure it's pretty massive. And yeah, I just it's not worth it for me to do that. So we will just deal with any strange borders we get. I just don't want to have them too close to home. All right, guys. Let's wait for our fireworks here, which I don't know if we can see them from this far. I swear I've looked before, because they usually go off about now. And nothing. <laughs> it definitely should have gone off by now. So I don't know. Do you guys know, is there a max distance where you can view fireworks from before they just don't render? Or do we know what's going on there? Because that, that area is loaded because I can see the tower or the cathedral tower. And that's where the fireworks is, is right in front of that. So it's slightly closer so it's definitely like generated or loaded rendered and it's yeah I don't know but we definitely didn't see the fireworks or hear them but I'm pretty sure they went off anyway guys that is it for today so I hope you enjoyed like I'll try to do my single player LP maybe like once a week if I can um, so it won't be as freaking as Olympus but I do you want to keep doing it and i've got plans stuff to do people to see all right guys take it easy we'll see you next time bye bye